The St. Louis County Council approves a series of budget cuts totaling $14 million. The Power of Two's Laura Simon live to explain why it set the stage for a heated debate within county government. Laura. Ty, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. This action was apparently necessary in order to county the, to tackle rather the county's $27 million budget deficit. And County Executive Sam Page says this will lead to a freeze on the new senior tax freeze as well as, um, excuse me, lead to layoffs as well. This definitely was not without controversy, though. At a meeting last night, the county council voted in favor of the $14 million budget cuts yesterday, following Page's stark warning that this could lead to reductions uh, having far-reaching effects. According to our partners at the Post-Dispatch this morning, these budget cuts amount to approximately 2% of the county's overall budget and are seen by some as an effort to reverse a trend of overspending that could certainly deplete the county's savings in the coming years. Council member Mark Harder called Page's comments fear-mongering. He argues these cuts are modest and necessary to maintain fiscal responsibility within the county. Council Chair Shalonda Webb says there is no reason for the tax freeze on seniors to be put on hold. And the county council also rejected a proposal by the county executive to raise property taxes by about four cents per $100 assessed value. The potential effects of these budget cuts are widespread. They include a reduction in public works funding, which could impact road maintenance, snow clearance, and abandoned property management. Additionally, cuts to the county counselor's office may impact legal issues concerning problem properties. Just how exactly these cuts will be implemented is still TBD. There are a couple options on the table up for discussion, but we are finding out this morning the largest part of this budget cut would impact the county health department, and that's set to be about an $8.2 million budget cut. Reporting live here in Clayton this morning, I'm Laura Simon.